mark here. Just wanted to show you real quick. I created this quick spreadsheet for you that gives you the quantity of work order parts installed. And this will be over a date range, which I'll show you how to change the date range and how to link this up to your Tatum's data in just a second. So this total quantity, first of all, this will include units, you know, of uh, any any quantity. It includes units of oil or whatever. So that's all parts that were installed via parts inventory into work orders. All right. So the total quantity. So if the quantity in the work order for a specific part was two, that'll be added in there. You know, as two as your total quantity. So when you open this up, you click on Enable Content, and then you want to go up here to Data, and then Connections and then properties and then definition and you can see down here at the bottom we've got our date range I've got it set to 1 1 2013 to 12 31 2016 so to change the date range here you want to just change the number the date between the uh, hashtags so if you wanted you know just for the last week or whatever you're just going to put 10 you know 10 1 2016 to 10 7 2016 for example right so but that's all you're going to change there the only other thing you need to change is where your data file is located that's up here at the top in this con uh, connection string area and right after the source equals it says c colon backslash so all this information up to the mdb and the semicolon there so after the equal sign and before the semicolon you're going to replace that with the, the path to your data and so to find that you can go into Tatums and so when you're in Tatums uh, basically you're going to click on tools and networking uh, you grab the path to your data file so let me grab this here I'm going to copy all that and then I'm going to go back over here to the spreadsheet and I'm going to paste in over the current path I can just right click and choose paste or control V as in Victor. And so now it's been pasted in. So now I've got this whole path. So after remember after the equal sign and before the semicolon. Now we just click OK there. And you can see our number was updated. So on for that date range that I have in there, uh, we've got a total quantity of parts installed of 12,491.011 parts. And that obviously includes uh, oil and whatever. Okay, so and then we close that, and that's gonna. Then you can save it. The next time you open it, you all you gotta do is change the. Uh, go back in here to data and connections, properties, definition, and then scroll down here to the bottom of this command text, and change your date range when you want to look at a different date range. All right. Hopefully that helps. Thanks. Take care.